Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Valentia Anderson. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, February 8th, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. So take the time right now to pause, to take a deep breath, breathe in through the nose. And as you breathe out through the mouth, just allow the eyes to close. Allow the body to be still. Allow the mind to be still if it wants to. And just allow whatever feelings arise to come to the surface. Now let's go to Angelie and Peyton for the Word of the Day segment. Hey, Anjali, what's wrong? Oh, hey, I was trying to fix something that broke out of nowhere. Well, that's quite peculiar that it happened so sudden. Oh, wait, back up. What does peculiar mean? Well, to shorten it, peculiar means weird or odd. Oh, so like when a leaf is changing color, is that peculiar? Not really. An example of a sentence using peculiar is the dog's peculiar behavior worried them. Oh, I understand now. Thanks for cleaning it up. Anytime. See, See you tomorrow, tomorrow on Word of the Day. Now let's go to Chanel for our Black History segment. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. Today in Black History, we are going to talk about Stevie Wonder. Steve Lynn Hardaway Morris, known professionally as Stevie Wonder, was born on May 13, 1950. He is a singer, songwriter, musician, and a record producer. He has produced 10 number one hits on the pop charts and 20 on the R&B, but his greatness didn't come out easily. He was born six weeks premature, causing him to go blind. He had to learn how to adapt to the world around him with one sense less. By the time he was 10, he mastered the piano, organ, and drums all on his own, and it only went up from there. Stevie Wonder continued to inspire African Americans and people with disabilities all over the world. Now let's go to Yozdani for today's sports highlights. Thank you, Chanel. Sports fans, the Winter Olympics are happening right now, and there are people flying down the ski slopes in Beijing, China. Sometimes that speed faster than Formula One cars. There's also some history being made, and the one story is of a Dutch athlete, Irene Wurst, who skied into the history books by becoming the first person to win gold medals in five separate Olympics. The 35-year-old won her first gold in 2006 and did it again for the 1500-meter speed skiing event on Saturday. I don't know what it is, she says. I should see the rings and something magical happens. Patriots, we will keep bringing you stories this week from the Winter Olympics. Thank you, Yostani. Today's lunch is chicken tenders, baked beans, baby carrots, diced peaches, and your choice of milk. Scholars, please let your teacher know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Valencia. Patriots, Black History Month this year. Today we continue our special daily activities. Today you can wear black and do the MC Hammer Dance, and tomorrow you can wear green and dance to Juju on that beat. I can't wait to see your amazing dance moves. Scholars, you can now join the National Junior Honor Society. This is only for the 7th and 8th graders. The due date to turn in your application has been extended to the 15th. Check the flyer to see if you meet the requirements. Make sure to take advantage of this great opportunity. Our Amazing Globe Party is on March 16th. See the flyer for further details. Let's get those lessons done so we can go to the Globe Party. Scholars, the grad venture is coming up. See the flyer for further details.
treats, the Amazing Hero Store is now open. Tomorrow it's the 5th and 6th graders turn to go to the store. Make sure to get there early so there's no wait. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with Randy. Thank you, Valencia. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather in Pines is 77 degrees Fahrenheit and partly cloudy. We are now starting a streak of warm weather, so expect the same tomorrow. In other weather news, sheets of ice are cracked and piled up on the shore. These plates of ice are located at Lake Superior and are creating what is called a ice shove. Ice shoves are mostly occurred during late winter or early spring. This is caused by melting the weakest points of the ice while water's currents push them to shore. The process is fascinating to watch, so if you find one, stick around for a while. Now let's head to Scott and Sonia for Weird But True. Thank you, Andy. Good morning, Patriots. I'm Sonia. And I'm Scott. Here's this week's Weird But True fact. Did you know that dogs can sense your emotions? They're able to interpret how humans feel. To interpret means to understand. They can even feel the same emotions that their owners feel. Dogs can detect increases in adrenaline. When you're scared, your adrenaline usually rises. Dogs can also read facial expressions to tell how you're feeling. Dogs are truly wonderful creatures. No wonder they're a man's best friends. That's it for this week's Weird But True Fact. Let's go to Aiden for today's birthdays. Thank you, Scott and Sonia. Today's birthday boys and girls are Sophia Furman, Stephanie Quaint, Zina Pierre-Lewis, and Julian Gomez. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Valencia. Thanks, Aiden. Patriot, here are your pet's expectations represents. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Now for yesterday's trivia winners, congrats to Miss Stone, Miss Onley, and Miss Sherry. You guys had the correct answer to yesterday's trivia question, which was, which city is situated on two continents? The correct answer is Istanbul. Teachers and scholars, here's today's trivia question. In what country has the biggest water park in the world? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday, and don't forget, this year we are all about fundamentals and forward focus. Have a great day!